back to another video on the Enchanted Vasum. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft movie videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. Sorry for the weird lighting and angles and all of this. I realized once I was looking back at the footage, I didn't even do a proper intro or outro. So here I am doing it. Um, yeah, wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants and no makeup because I'm trying to get this video edited enough for you guys. And happy December, everyone. So I don't know that I'll necessarily be doing Vlogmas because Vlogtober took a lot out of me, but I'm gonna be trying doing a few little extra videos here and there. I'm super excited for it. Today, we are gonna be doing a shop with me videos, looking for a bit of um, dark aesthetic or gothmas kind of decor. I'm also kind of looking for a few like retro-y things because I have I have a theme in mind for one of my rooms. <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing you TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and then also at home. So let's head to the car, show you all that, and then I'll meet you back here when we're done. Hey everyone, so obviously I picked the spot with the absolute worst lighting. Sweet Lord. Okay, anyway, so I'm right outside uh, TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I figured we'd go in, see what they have. Um, like I said, I'm not really looking to buy anything, but if they do have either some really fun looking gothmas stuff or uh, like black and white kind of thing, or if they have, I'm looking for some very like Cindy Lou Who, <laughs> Whoville, Dr. Seuss Green Christmas trees because I want to do them for this whole little setting I'm doing. Um, and so I'm looking for something like that. They had something very similar that I loved at Menards, but they were like $30. It was stupid. They were really cute, but I was like, I cannot pay that. So I'm looking for something kind of like that today. So we're going to do these two places. Once we're done, we'll go to at home. So, all right, let's go into, I think we're going to do home goods first. winter leggings all right everyone so just finished up with home goods and tj maxx home goods um when you first go in um you see a bunch of trees and santas there was this massive gray reindeer which was kind of cool um then i think i showed like they had everything divided into little sections on the back wall divided by color so there was like traditional red and green then they had i think like a pink like a pastel pink line then a more like gold and kind of beigey line and then a very like silver and white line so it's all kind of divided into each of those nothing super stood out to me personally in there um i think i even got oh i did see there was these like dark velvet nutcrackers dark green velvet they were really really pretty um i didn't really have a need for them though so I, I didn't buy them but i thought they were super cool they could definitely work into like a darker aesthetic or just more of like a witchy aesthetic forest kind of scene i i love dark green and i love velvet so they were like oh, they were beautiful but i i just didn't need them um, let me see. I think I did go and look uh, back toward the kitchen stuff. They had some of like very red and white um, kind of dishware and stuff. I did see this one cup that I think is a like kitten mittens or kitten something. It was like a, a Ray Dunn mug. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I didn't get it, but it just kind of made me smile. Then I looked at they had some blankets in the back and you know me I love I love a good blanket so I had to go look at them they had some really um there were some like different uh buffalo check kind of ones then there was this um two different like dark red velvety blankets that were just they were so soft one was like 35 and then the, another one I think was 29 make sure and show both of those there's also like a black and white buffalo check blanket um I think I went and looked at pillows as well but nothing stood out there was like a, a green section i don't even know if i took video of it i was kind of disappointed honestly i mean they had stuff but everything felt very just kind of standard i think because like i mean you guys know i love halloween so for me anything halloween i'm like oh my gosh then christmas like i enjoy christmas and yule and all that kind of stuff 
but I feel like it has to be super different or just really cute or specific to really stand out for me and there wasn't much in there. Um, I went into TJ Maxx and the first thing I saw, um, I did get this, this is the only thing I got. Joanna Parker mugs is so, so cute. I think they were like $14, so a little more than I wanted to spend today, especially not anticipating buying these. But I just really, I'm, I'm really coming to like the vintage style and I thought they were just really cute and they could be kind of like creepy cute, so I'm down with it. There were some Jack Skellington mugs, uh, two different varieties on that. I think there were some other um, different like angels and Santas. And there was this like deer, this silver deer with like this little cloche in container on top that meant for like little treats or something. It was really cute. I, I love deer and like just horned animals in general so I thought those were really cool um or that piece was really cool what else I know oh I did see some other deer um there were like some red ones I think there was a black one some silver ones a couple different ones of those and I feel like honestly that was about it so nothing like super mind-blowing okay so I wanted to show you this <laughs> Look at it. This is the little creamer and sugar set, the Joanna Parker one that I found at TJ Maxx. I'm so excited. It's absolutely adorable. Um, also, I just want to mention, I'm really sorry for this setup behind me. You can see my mantle is empty. I have you literally stacked up on all my Christmas tubs. I'm about to put out decor within the next day or so, which that should hopefully be a video as well. But anyway, aren't they adorable? So um, let's just go to at home.
Okay, and so from at home, I only got a few things. There was a lot that wasn't really my style, but a couple of things I think are gonna work for my like little retro thing I have going. So I got this candy cane like ribbon tree. It is so, so cute. I think this is gonna work really, really well. And then I got two of these. I don't wanna spoil what the design is gonna be, but these little curly cues kind of work with the design, if that helps you at all. But I get two of these to kind of go in there. I couldn't find any of the green. That's unflattering. I couldn't find any of the green, like felted or very Grinch looking trees that I wanted. So I thought those would look cool because cool they're very kind of mid-century, but the curly cues work with the design I want. So I have one last item. Let me get it out. All right. So as you can see, it looks like completely just weirdly frosted from here, but it's the deer candle holder. Do you see the trees and everything on the inside, the deer on the inside? This reminds me of the little mushroom one I got from Joanne where it's like, you can't see the mushroom, but once you put a candle in, it lights up and you see the silhouette. I thought this would go really well with it, even though it's not that same color as this blue, but I have a whole like winterscape thing I'm gonna be doing in my living room. So I think this will go well like that whole icy nature-y kind of theme. So I thought this was just so cool. It's very different. I see I'm looking for things that are different in just I don't know, even though it's kind of traditional Christmas, it's very different. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's really, really cool. So that is it for today's video. Um, sorry for all the weird angles, but I really do hope you enjoy everything. Thank you all again for all your love and support. I always appreciate it. Definitely leave a comment below your favorite item of today. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I would always appreciate it. So thank you guys again. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.